Okay, Mark, we're going to talk about the things you like in your setup. Following club face is squared up behind the center of the ball. Perfect. Club and ball are in the middle of your stance. Ideal. Shaft angle is positioned opposite your navel, so your arms hang down naturally, and your hands function well together as a unit. A couple of things I would adjust. We talked about stance. Get your feet underneath your shoulders, so a little narrower, not as wide, because right now you're wider than the width of your shoulders. So you can't pivot as well and shift your weight. So narrow that up, especially for a middle length iron. And secondly, continue to make sure that left arm of yours extends down and the right arm stays tucked in. For most of your swings when you first began, all I could see was your right arm from this angle because your left arm was folded and the right arm was locked. What that would do would be opening the alignment of your shoulders to the left. And that forces you to use your hands and arms and compensate. So by squaring up your shoulders, softening that right arm and hand, or tucking it like you're doing now, as you can see with me to the right doing the same thing, and just narrowing up a little more in your stance, you'll be able to have a better position to make a bigger turn on the start. So as you go back, you can see now your shoulder, left shoulder in particular, can start taking the club away. Your arms rise up your body. You want to keep that swing about there. You do get still a little narrow. See how that golf shaft tends to drop a little bit at the last portion of your swing? So think of your back swing as more of a compact or three-quarter motion so that club shaft doesn't collapse or fold as it's doing there. So from that position, you're still able to re-extend your arms, bring the club back towards the ball, and get the club onto the ball and then turn through. But you can see your lower body still a little bit restricted and trailing behind. So keep that stance a bit narrower and make a nice compact backswing with your shoulders and then you can use your lower body more effectively to generate more speed and transfer your weight more effectively.